we can find lots of useful English vocabulary within the topic of space. Whether you follow the news, enjoy astronomy, or love Marvel movies, I'm sure you'll find lots of useful English words in this video dictionary that you can use straight away in your life. For the beginning of our journey, we start on our home world of Earth. It is the place we call home to our species and everyone we know. And our next word is planet because Earth is a planet. And we also have other planets close to Earth like Mars and the one on screen is called Jupiter. As we leave the planet Earth behind, the first thing we meet is our moon. The moon is very important to life on Earth and gives us light at night time. The moon follows the Earth as it circles the sun and sun is our next word. Without the sun, we would have no light or heat and life on our planet would not survive. The earth is tiny when compared to the massive sun. The sun is at the center of all the planets in our solar system. The solar system is our collection of planets like the earth, Mars and Jupiter and many other planets and their moons. If you want to learn more about these planet names and additional vocabulary on our solar system, check out my vocabulary lesson. The link is on screen right now. The solar system is part of an even larger group called a galaxy. A galaxy contains millions and millions of solar systems. Some of these are similar to ours and some are very different. All of these solar systems have something in common though. They all have one or more stars at their center. In fact, our sun can also be called a star. And like our sun, most stars have their own planets. We call these planets found outside our solar system exoplanets. There are lots of different types of planets around, but there's also lots of different types of stars. My favorite is a neutron star. This is a powerful radioactive star, which is very dangerous for life as we know it. Indeed, space can seem like a big scary place, especially with something called a black hole. A black hole is a dead star which has collapsed and they're kind of weird. They consume all matter, space, time and light that comes too close to it. It would be very dangerous to encounter one. And finally, let's take a look at our last word, the universe. This is what we call all of space and time and all the contents of all the galaxies. There is so much we do not understand about the universe, but thankfully we will always have our English vocabulary to describe and talk about the wonders of space. If this is the first time you're visiting my channel, Learning English Pro, you're very welcome. My name is Jer, and thanks for joining me today for this vocabulary lesson. Coming up on screen are some video suggestions for you. In the description below, you'll find a word glossary and links to my social media. Have a great day and remember, keep learning English like a pro.